Hey everyone, welcome to Success Pioneers, the channel where I share with you the most inspiring stories of people who turn their failures into successes. I'm your host, Danny, and today I'm going to tell you about one of the most iconic figures in the history of technology and innovation, Steve Jobs. You probably know Steve Jobs as the co-founder of Apple, the company that revolutionized personal computing, music, phones, and many other industries. But did you know that Steve Jobs was also a college dropout, a fired CEO, and a cancer survivor? That's right. Steve Jobs faced many challenges and setbacks in his life, but he never gave up on his vision and passion. He always learned from his mistakes and used them as opportunities to grow and improve. Let's start from the beginning. Steve Jobs was born in 1955 in San Francisco, California. He was adopted by Paul and Clara Jobs, who encouraged his curiosity and creativity. He showed an early interest in electronics and tinkering with gadgets. He met his future partner, Steve Wozniak, in high school, and they became friends through their shared love of computers. In 1972, Steve Jobs enrolled in Reed College, a prestigious liberal arts school in Oregon. However, he soon realized that he was not interested in the traditional academic curriculum. He dropped out after one semester, but he continued to audit classes that appealed to him, such as calligraphy, literature, and philosophy. He later said that this experience influenced his aesthetic sense and design philosophy. In 1974, Steve Jobs got a job at Atari, a video game company. He worked on some popular games like Breakout and Pong. He also saved enough money to travel to India with a friend where he explored spirituality and experimented with psychedelic drugs. He said that this trip was one of the most important experiences of his life. In 1976, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak founded Apple Computer in the garage of Jobs' parents' house. They built their first product, the Apple One, a simple but innovative personal computer that they sold to hobbyists and enthusiasts. They followed up with the Apple II, which became a huge success and established Apple as a leader in the emerging PC industry. In 1980, Apple went public and made Jobs and Wozniak millionaires. They hired more engineers and designers to work on new projects. One of them was the Macintosh, which was Jobs' brainchild. The Macintosh was the first computer to feature a graphical user interface, GUI, and a mouse. It was designed to be user-friendly and intuitive. It was also very expensive and had limited software compatibility. The Macintosh was launched in 1984 with a famous Super Bowl ad that depicted Apple as a rebel against the tyranny of IBM. However, the Macintosh did not sell as well as expected. It faced competition from cheaper and more compatible PCs from IBM and Microsoft. Jo Jobs clashed with the board of directors and the CEO of Apple over the direction of the company. He was eventually stripped of his power and resigned from Apple in 1985. Jobs did not give up on his dreams. He started a new company called Next Computer, which focused on developing high-end workstations for education and research. He also bought a small animation studio called Pixar from George Lucas for $10 million. Pixar became a pioneer in computer-generated animation and produced some of the most beloved movies of all time, such as Toy Story, Finding Nemo, and The Incredibles. In 1996, Apple was struggling to survive in the PC market. It had lost its edge and its market share to Microsoft and other competitors. It needed a new vision and a new leader. It decided to buy Next Computer for $429 million and bring back Steve Jobs as an advisor. Jobs quickly regained control of Apple and initiated a series of changes that transformed the company. He streamlined the product line, cut costs, improved quality, and fostered a culture of innovation and excellence. He also introduced some of the most iconic products in history, the iMac, the iPod, the iPhone, the iPad, iTunes, and more. Jobs also faced some personal challenges during this time. In 2003, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, a rare and aggressive form of cancer that usually has a poor prognosis. He underwent surgery and alternative treatments and managed to survive for eight more years. He continued to work on his projects and inspire millions of people with his vision and his charisma. In 2011, Steve Jobs passed away at the age of 56. He left behind a legacy of innovation and creativity that changed the world forever. Steve Jobs once said, Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary.
That's it for today's episode of Success Pioneers. I hope you enjoyed this story and learned something from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring stories. I'm Danny, and I'll see you next time on Success Pioneers.